So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing data. Lab. Is data publishing on BigQuery for data sharing partners. So first of all, click on Start Lab and wait for a few seconds. And meanwhile, if you're new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. Now let's get started. Now the first thing is that we have to open the data sharing partner project. Yes, you heard it right. We have to open the data sharing partner project in incognito window like this. And here we have to enter the username and password mentioned here. So just paste the username again, paste the password to and just click on next. Now once you have done this, click on I understand and just let me increase the font size. Come back here and here if you get any kind of pop up, click on I understand and just agree and continue. Now we have to open the BigQuery. So from the navigation menu or using the search box, just open the BigQuery. If it is not visible, you have to just type it and just hit enter. Now wait for the page to fully load. Now here, click on done. And now again, what you need to do to come over task number one. And yes, once you have opened it, to just come over here and open I am in a new tab. Basically, we have to just first of all enable the permissions and then create some views. Here, click on grant access. Now here, come back over lab instruction and copy these two use student ID. Okay, you have to copy these two student ID carefully. So just copy it like this. Paste over here and click on anywhere. Now again, copy it like this. And just paste over here now we have to assign the role for the role it is mentioned bigquery user you can just copy it directly or you can type also there is no issue so now just paste over here and just use it like this okay just select it and click on save now it will take some time to update it so meanwhile you can if you want you can check the scores also now come to the bigquery console and first check the score so we got the score now we have to create a data set team demo data set. So copy the name carefully. Click over here, create data set. Paste the name for the data set and make sure there is no region output. Basically, as per the lab instruction, we don't have to make any modification. Now click on create. Once you have created, we have to add data Google Trends. Okay, it's Google Trends, not Google International. Okay, copy the name here. Now from here. Just click on add data, public data set. It will take some time. Now again, just paste over here and hit enter. You will see two options. Okay, we don't have to select the international. We have to just select the trends one. So just click on it and just click on view data set. Wait for the page to fully load. Yes, now click on view data set. Now it will take few seconds to open. Now from here you can see copy option. You have to click over it. And sometimes what happens the page does not respond in case you have to just reload the browser. Now wait again. So basically here we have to just copy the destination data set also. So just copy the name carefully like this. And again come back over here and just here click on the copy option. Okay just copy it make sure you are in the google trends option and here you have to just copy it now click on the copy now for the data set name just type it demo data set wait a second you have to click on copy just select it and just make sure it's showing checkbox click on copy now it will be copied and you have to just authorize yourself let me show you how you have to authorize so authorize carefully and click on continue now just click on allow all these things are done we have copied the data set and it is very well now now come to the bigquery page again if you are unable to locate you can just open the bigquery by navigating to the search box now we got the score for task number three now task number four we have to search this table okay how you will search 
it will become difficult to search manually so just use the search box and just paste here and hit enter now you can see here it is just click on it and here what we need to do we have to assign two principles as bigquery data viewer so just click on share and here click on add principle now just paste the username basically the two principles like this copy carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot now once you have done now assign the role so you can assign the role directly via here or you can just use the search box now make sure to cross verify all things then click on save now once this is saved you can check the score and labs takes time to update the score so you need to wait for a few more minutes till the score is updated okay i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say now come to task number five here we have to authorize the views so again click on demo data set you have to click on sharing and just click on authorize data set make sure to select correctly you have to click on authorize data set not views now copy these things carefully, paste over here and you will see something in your data set region, region basically. Just click on add authorization, you can see it's visible now. Now we have successfully authorized it. Now we have to add two permissions, basically two principles again as BigQuery rule. So again click on test sharing and then permissions. Now wait for it to load. Now here click on add principle, enter the username again, paste the user here and here it will be BigQuery user. So the user is BigQuery user. You can type also directly or you can just search it like this. So once you have updated it will take again some time to update the score. So let's check the score. And last task is very easy. What you need to do? You have done all these things now you have to just open customer a and console b basically project one and project two so just right click open incognito window we are signing using project one first of all so just come over here and copy the username of project one basically customer one just follow the way i am doing you won't be facing any issue now just paste over here and click on next now again you have to click on i understand Now here just click on I agree and I agree and continue. Now from the navigation menu you have to just open the big quail. Now follow all steps carefully. Now here for the untitled query you have to just come over here. Okay. And copy this query and run here and click on run query. Now once the query is executed we have to save it so wait for it to get completed now once it is completed you have to just save it so how you'll save it let me show you how you have to save. save save view now for the data set click on create new data set okay you have to just create a new data set so just open it like this and paste the name from the lab instruction that is customer one data set okay you have to paste it like this you can see the data set id is available here and again just select it like this and for the table just enter it like this okay now we have to just once it's done you have to close it and now open the customer project to one sorry so basically here you have to use console to username and password so just scroll down and you can see here just copy it carefully we are repeating the same steps which we have done earlier in the customer one console so just repeat it meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed the channel to subscribe it and like the video now wait for here again open the big query okay from the search box just click on the BigQuery and if you are unable to find as I said earlier you have to just type BigQuery over here 
Now wait for the page to fully load. Now here you have to just run the query. So here just copy this query. Run over here. And then we have to save the views. Okay. So here once wait for the query to fully complete. So now it's created now we have to just save it on save save view and we have to again create a new data set so for the data set name come over here and copy the name carefully paste over here there is no region issue so just click on create now for a table also just copy the table name carefully okay if it shows like to select just click on and select and just save it like this now all things have been done let's check the score and if you're new to this channel haven't subscribed it do subscribe the channel and for other skill badges sheet you can check the description box of this video do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day